everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm uh, back down here at Even Roll in uh, Carlsbad, and Garen is putting together an ER1 for me. If you guys saw, uh, I had, uh, I wanted to get fit for the ER1 because of uh, some of the ways I think that I line up the putter and other things, I really wanted a more um, traditional blade style. So uh, Garen and I, we just did some measuring and through some other fitting process, uh, just trying to get it. And, but you also notice that on my old ping putter, this grip that's on this one is very, very heavy. So we'll have to do some things to match this, to add some weight to the heel to match that. And um, this grip's a lot lighter. You were saying you were saying there's like 19 different points of putting that that you go through when you when you fit somebody to to a putter. What what are some of those? No, no, things? I was talking about um, the uh, how how to either cure or why people pull the ball. Oh, got you, got you. you know, there could be 19 different things. Well, I, there's a whole there, there's more, probably more than that. That's what I just have down right now in my mm -hmm. little yeah. my little notes. Um, and some of those things are eye alignment. So it's not the putter. It's just the way your eyes are crooked. You know, mm -hmm. Your eyes are like this, and, yep. you, and you're, you're, pull, you're putting along your eye alignment. And then there's um, um, the way the putter's set up. If if it uh, has too much loft, it'll tend to close on you because the back of the putter will, will, will bottom out, and it'll force the face to close, and you'll be fighting a pull. Sometimes you don't have a right, the right amount of offset, um, or you have a putter that's face balanced. Face balanced putters, can the toe can come around very easily. Yeah, and so if you have more toe hang, typically people who have a problem pulling the ball putt straighter if they have a, some toe hang because the because because they have to the putter releases going back opens mm -hmm. and it releases going forward. So they're having to square square the putter up uh, purposefully instead of it doing it by itself. Yeah, and um, uh, and vice versa, someone who pushes the ball a lot could use a face balanced putter. Mm -hmm. Uh, or, um, but there's, and then there's, there's position of the hands. If your hands are uh, too low, you'll turn the putter over more. So that yep. could be a reason why. And it can be a combination of a lot of things too. It can be the way the putter's set up, the loft, where your hands are, uh, the type of shafting. All these things go in there and it gets, it gets a little, you know, it's, it's like a puzzle. Oh yeah. And so when I get somebody in the studio, I, st I just start one place and we just try to work our way through um, the the fitting parameters that, that, that cure whatever it is they're doing naturally. And, and one of the best ways to know what you really do is close your eyes and get on a straight putt to a, a point and then close your eyes and putt. And if all the balls end up left, right. it, could be the, it could be the position of your left foot, just move it forward a little bit. Yeah, you talk a lot about stance, like stance matching is, your stance to your, to your, well, your style. I think your stance controls your eyes. So if I if I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm closed, my eyes are going to continue to go mm -hmm. with my foot. So yeah. I just use the left foot mm -hmm. as one way yep. of getting the eyes to be parallel to the target line. I, I talked about reading a book with it like this. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's not just, comfortable. It's just not yeah. natural. It's not comfortable. Well, putting's the same way. Get your eyes on the target line, and that's really a fundamental, really basic. Yeah. Uh, 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 approach to getting somebody lined up. I mean, that, that's just the alignment part. But then the type of putter, this is always the, the part that's getting a grip straight is like a, oh yeah, is, is always a challenge. Yeah, you go to the golf shop, you see a lot of putters with crooked grips. Oh, 80% of them down the whole row of those putters you'll see are have crooked grips. That's that's what your hands hold on to. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah well, we, they, we're really finicky about getting our grip straight. Yep. You know, that, that's, that's a very big issue. Well, you'll be missing, you'll be pulling or pushing putts and you won't know why. You think it's you. You think it's a mental sure, problem or something sure. and it could just be the grip. But if, yeah. you, if you are going to have a crooked grip, it's better for it to be a little open than closed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Air to the side of open, but we try to air to the side of perfect. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, that's, that's uh, always a challenge, but we do the best we can. One thing I wanted to ask you, Garen, so, so if I'm set up, say I know that and I do know that, I'm, I'm better with a little bit more of an open stance. The thing about being totally square is there's kind of like a zero point to that. I know for sure that square is square, but right. I can't like every single time be open the same exact amount. What are some of the, 
routines or ways you could like say I know that for sure okay this much open is good but then when I'm playing around the golf how do I like hit that much open point every time well I, I that's just a human thing I mean you're not yeah. a, you're not a robot no and, yeah uh, I mean square is square but even square can move a little bit but but open is a matter of comfort so let's say you got a longer putt and a little mm -hmm. more open is okay as you get closer to the hole, you can you can be a little bit more closed or, mm -hmm. or tighten it up a little bit, not be so open. Uh, it just depends on on how you set up and how your eye alignment is and yeah. what what makes you hit your lines. It's all about hitting your lines. Okay, that's it. That kind of goes to your whole thing about putting. Like, don't worry so much that you're perfectly set up and everything. Allow yourself to be creative and athletic and from it from a long from distance. Putts, yeah, from yeah. distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you get up close to the hole, you 15 need to feet little, Yeah, that's yeah. that less athletic, real, uh, you know, simple one timing element, not two or three. Right. You know, not no wrist, no. You know, you want to you want to get everything. That's why I talk about pronating or yeah. raising your wrist, locking it in, and getting down and mm -hmm. getting more of all shoulders because that makes yeah. you cover your shoulders a lot more. All right, so we're going to go through the process. I'll do a uh, wrap up at the end of this uh, process and uh, introduce you guys to my new putter, which I'm super excited about and uh, you guys I just learned uh, that you guys can come here to the even roll studio and get fit for a putter and uh, I would do it soon because they're getting some new technology and stuff it might not just be cost included forever well expensive fitting equipment <laughs> right we have to get our money back somehow yeah right so they're thinking of getting this uh, Quintex system that's very expensive that uh, but before they get that system, uh, Garen will, uh, or, or whoever's here will, Travis, yeah. we Garen organic, or Travis. Or the organic method where you. Well, with the, the, the roll board, board itself is, is amazing. This yeah. shows you what's going on. Everyone asks me, about, so you can come here and, and get that done. Everyone asks me, hey, where do I get one of those roll boards when we put, when we had it on the video? We sell them. We're going to put so them on the website. We're going to put them on the website pretty oh, soon. Cool. We have, we have, a, we have them for sale, evenroll.com. How important is swing weight generally to like, you know whether or not somebody lo likes a putter. Well, um, swing weight's important for for giving you the ability to use your putter for distance and for, but also for close up stuff. Obviously, if you have a putter that's got a very heavy head on it, um, it's going to be pretty accurate for close up stuff mm -hmm. because close up you're trying to have a putter that that overrides your nerves and you want to have something that's it's very stable. Yeah. To be more accurate, uh, but but as you as you get it for farther away, that heavy head you lose distance control. Mm -hmm. So you have to have swing weight at a point where where you have um, a swing weight that allows you to feel the head for distance control, but enough swing weight, enough weight uh, overall to keep it stable close up. So. What we do is we add a little bit more weight to the head, 15 grams than normal, and we use uh, twice that much or even more if it's, if, it's, if it's spread over the length of the grip, we actually use 60 grams at the top. If it's, up, if it's just a weight in the end, we use 30, twice as much as in the head. That gets the swing weight right back down to the, say, D7, which is kind of the, the sweet spot. And then that D7, uh, is but it's that D7 has got the nice swing weight, but except the overall weight has gone up 75 grams of overall weight. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, in, the, in your case, I'm going to use a 30 in the, in the butt of the uh, in the top of the grip. Yeah, and what that's going to do is still get the swing weight back down to D7, but your overall weight will be 45 grams more. And so, you'll have a, you'll have a much better. Uh, you'll have a nice feel for distance, but it'll be nice and stable, but it won't be too heavy in your hands. If you guys see this, this whole ping that I had. Well, that's a pretty heavy put, if I remember. Let's try yeah, it. Let's it's, put, uh, let's put it on. Let me see. See, the face is very damaged, and I'm sure I've hit that, that mark. That's probably, that ball's point. probably not catching much. It's not going to have much of an effect. So if we just check out your, your, your trusty ping here. Um, so here's one that's, this one's E2, E. So m most in the golf shop So your, your E3, that's a pretty heavy putter. Okay. That's pretty heavy uh, swing weight. Okay. You want to be about D7 all the way down to here. So that's pretty heavy like where the weight's in the head feeling. Yeah, in other yeah. words, if you add a little bit more weight, oddly enough, if you added a little bit more weight to the grip, it would mm -hmm. feel lighter. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
because yeah. it would it would counter the weight of the head and the head wouldn't be so heavy. Yeah, it's all proportionate. It yeah. is, yeah. it is, yeah. So it But just... it, it can get too heavy. You can have 30 extra grams here and 90 or 100 up here. It's just too heavy. Yeah, just overall it it's starts just getting too, too crazy. It starts getting too heavy. Yeah. yeah. But and that's where you have like the anti-yip um Oh, powder, like you know, a tank, just, like super yeah, heavy. So just yeah, just because this person needs that. They mm -hmm. need that super stability. So, oh. so what I'm going to do now is just kind of we're going to put a weight in the, in so, the butt of your your putter. So this one is E2, you said. So what what uh, are those? No, it was, yeah, it was like what are those? E, what does that mean? E2, D7, all that stuff. I, I don't even know. It's it's just a it's a number that we 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 have consistent across the industry so that we can. We can judge all putters by the same standard. Okay, sure. It doesn't okay. matter. But D7 is kind of the one that, mm -hmm. that for fast greens in yeah. today's world, you want, and this is the other thing, you want you want a heavier putter for fast greens and a lighter putter for slow greens. Because slow, you've got to be able to swing the putter harder on slow greens. Oh, gotcha. And if it's lighter, you can hit it harder without having to move your body. Or, or, now, let me just all right, let so me, let bore me this out. Hole in the back. Yep. In the fitting process, um, so that's the thickness of the butt of the butt of the grip right there. So that was about an eighth of an inch. Oh, very okay. yeah, very. Low. So that's why we allowed that extra amount. Now we have a now we have a hole in the back of the grip. Yep. Okay. Cool. So what we're going to do, we use the Torlock Torlock Pro. So here is we right now we're not going to we're not going to expand this part expands when you turn the Allen wrench right here. But right mm -hmm. now we're just going to put it in there. And see where we are. Yeah, cool. Yeah, like you were saying, this this that old like tiger style pin grip is very heavy. Well, tigers is the is the little skinny rubber one. That one you oh, know, you have the cord. Oh, okay. The heavy cord grip. Um, okay, so now see see let's see where we are. Okay, so we're now we're now at E one. Now watch this. There's no such thing as E zero. It's just E one. No, that's E one. Oh, okay. There is E zero. Oh, sure, okay. Sure. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's that. Uh, but then here is here's one that's 40, 40 grams. Okay. Okay. So if we take this forty gram mm -hmm. weight and we pull this thirty out, and we put in a, a bigger. See the difference in size. That's a thirty, and that's a thirty, and that's a forty. Yep. So we're going to put the forty in, and that should be about two and a half to three swing weights lighter, a little bit lighter. So here we go. Now we're going to go. Sure enough, we went down two and a half swing weights. So now we're at a D. We're at a D seven and a half. Okay. So now that'll feel that'll feel lighter, but your overall weight. That means the head, you'll be able to swing the head a little easier. Okay, the creation is complete here. So let's go over what I had on the, uh, on the ping was... Okay, here's your ping. Let's weigh this one. Let's see how heavy this one is, okay, Karen. So but they so feel very similar. So now total weight of the putter. So this putter is 560 grams. Yep. Okay. Total now, weight. Total weight. And this putter is... 583 grams, so 23 grams heavier overall. Over Put that in perspective. What is something that weighs 23 grams? Like, how many of these even roll ball markers would that be? <laughs> oh, here, let's, yeah, let's, 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 let's see. Uh, so, one ball marker is 6, 12, so 4. 4. So th that's the weight yeah, that's of a, the, the difference. Super, that, super close. That's the difference in the overall weight of the entire putter. That's 25, so that's actually It's more. actually a little heavier. Oh, and these, yeah. these are not, this is like a little less than a quarter, the weight of these things. Yeah. So that is, that's the difference. So super close. Basically what I wanted was my ping putter with the technology that, that Garen has which uh, I'm absolutely convinced is superior to any other putter technology in the world. So that's what I got. Good, excellent. And so now you have, now you have a putter that's, uh, this one was E on the swing weight scale, this yeah. was E4. Mm -hmm. and, and so ours is actually, it's heavier, but mm -hmm. it's an E1. Yeah. 
So you have about the same swing weight, a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. but you have a little bit more overall for more stability. Yeah. And that means the head is more stable, the whole mm -hmm. putter is more stable because yep. it, it's just got more mass to it. So yeah. a little bit, just slightly. a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I was talking to Garen before, he said most golfers could do with a little bit heavier, or actually quite a bit heavier putter. Uh, he, you see people making more putts with heavier putters, huh? Well, heavier... For the casual golfer. Yeah, yeah. heavier um, <laughs> on fast greens and heavier for, for accuracy, but not too heavy to yeah. lose distance control. You can get over, you can get too heavy where you have no feel for distance. Because yep. you just can't feel the ball coming off the head. It's just too much mass. And so, and also you can't move the putter mm -hmm. as consistently with your hands. Yeah. When you have a really heavy putter, so. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna convince Garen, I haven't told him yet, but I'm gonna convince him to reopen the Be Better promo code to get free shipping if he'll do it. Yep. Uh, I think sure. he will. Yep. So, uh, so if you guys are interested, go to evnroll.com and check out their putters. If you're in the area, you can stop by too, uh, or you just not, don't stop by, but set up an appointment. Right. All right, <laughs> talk to you guys later, bye. See ya.